The borrow flat method may be necessary if the wombat becomes unapproachable and the mange infestation has not been resolved. There's no need to catch or touch the wombat at any time. This can cause stress. The borrow flap needs to be set up well. Ideally, the wombat just needs to duck its head to activate the flap. So approximately 30 centimetres is a good height. Don't hang the flap too low as this may deter the wombat from entering the burrow or alternately destroying the flap. The cydectin medication, as said previously, needs to be checked and replaced every five to seven days. This is an example of burrow flaps and where they can be placed. Um, in front of the burrow, on a fence, on a well-worn track, Once more, um, on a well-worn track in front of a fence, you need to be careful to make sure the flap can swing backwards and forwards without catching on the fence. More examples of wombat going on a well-worn track under a fence. This way can be very effective if a burrow can't be found. Another one here, this could be a big um, bush of blackberries with a hole in the middle showing where the wombat's entering the, the big mass of blackberries. You can set up a burrow flap on a wire frame. The, one, the picture on the right here shows a very unusual and difficult um, burrow to set something up at. And this is where you may have to be a bit inventive and come up with something of your of your own devices as small little flaps, um, but can still deliver the appropriate dose.